Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look and review of Moby Zen. This is an awesome and free application that lets you record gameplay uh, from your mobile phones by screen capturing your the screen of your phone. Um, and it's very cool. It's free and it has a lot of settings that I really, really like. Uh, when you launch this, for example, you're gonna get that splash screen right here, right? And this is basically the tool that you're actually gonna use to either screen capture or or screen record screen capture would be like taking a snapshot of the screen right here it says moby zen will start capturing everything that's displayed on the screen uh click right here boom and it takes a screenshot of the screen if you click right here boom right there you can see the image that was taken that's very very cool how you can adjust it you can put it anywhere you want and i like having that because you can start you can play a game right without starting recording and at any time you could just tap right there and start recording that's very cool uh when you tap right here it will take you to basically like a gallery like you see here this is a gallery of videos this right here if you tap right there it will show you a video that i was recording so this is me playing around with this application and like you see there it does use the front facing camera to record a little circle or little square of your face there right navigating around you can see like a little dot which is showing my fingers where they're tapping and that's very cool for when you want to do like a video tutorial of an application or something like that uh, you can actually enable that in the application uh, like you see there you can listen to everything I'm talking because it also references. you see there Fine arts teacher art. it also captures the audio from your microphone which is very cool that's very handy when you want to do a tutorial video and it's always going to be here in this gallery but it's also going to be in your normal gallery just you just have to look for the folder that says mobis and and that's it so here you have have images these are basically images or screen capture images that i've taken uh, another thing that i like here is when you tap right there you tap right here like you see it has this option for gallery and here for settings uh, this is where all the magic happens here you have the options for uh, resolution you can change from 1080p 720 480 like you see there um, here you got quality uh, you got 12 8 or 5 you can easily leave it at 5 or 8 is pretty good there um, here of course you got frame rate you got 60 frame rates 50 frame rates and 40 30 all that really cool or you can leave it adjust in auto and it'll, uh, it'll select the proper frame rate um, here you have clean recording clean recording is very cool because for example I showed you the camera I showed you when you when you're recording and you see your, your recording you can see the camera you can see your fingers typing or uh, walking um, moving around and all that um, but if you enable this what's what's gonna happen is that the recording is gonna be totally clean you're not gonna see an uh, an image of yourself on the recording you're not gonna see your fingers tapping on the screen you're not gonna see this little bubble right there from Moby Zen at all you're not gonna see anything of that so if that's what you want all you got to do is enable it here um, here audio recording you must leave it on if you want to record the audio but uh, let's say you're recording like an application and you want to do like a voiceover later on it with another app you could just turn it off and do that you could just turn off and do and do that but here if you want to record the audio of the game you're gonna have to leave that there and keep in mind it's not only recording the audio of the game it's all also recording your voice as well so if you're talking or if there's other people talking is also going to be capturing that as well here you got this circle this circle you could customize it here you got here okay bam bam you could change the size of it the transparency I see there you can also choose a picture of yourself instead of the little circle but I really don't care about that uh, front facing camera you can enable it and the good thing here is that you can actually choose a square and you can resize it like you see here you can resize it and you could put it very small if you want as well or you could choose a circle and you could do the same thing as well you could go ahead and resize it uh, but honestly, I recommend if you don't have a device powerful enough, 
if you don't have a device powerful enough, I recommend not using the front facing camera because this is just going to make your video laggy if your phone is not powerful enough. And my phone, I don't have a problem with it because the phone it has four gigabytes of RAM, you know, and it's, it has a good processor. But if your phone has like a two gigabytes of uh, uh, RAM, you might want to turn it off. You might want to turn it off. Just saying. Um, here, watermark. You could turn off the watermark if you want. You could turn it on if you want. But at least it gives you the option to turn it on or off. Uh, let's see what else you got here. You got a countdown. Uh, very, very convenient. A countdown there. You could uh, By default, it's set to three. I set it to five. Uh, gesture. If you want the gestures visible, you're going to just enable it. But remember, when you enable the gestures... Uh, clean mode is going to be disabled because that's the purpose of the clean mode. Uh, the clean mode is for it to look clean completely. No, no gestures whatsoever. So if you enable that clean mode is going to be disabled. Just keep that in mind. Uh, recording time. This is the little clock right there. Uh, don't show. I, 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 I rather not show that, uh, but you could put it here as well if you want. And if you put it here, choose any of these, it's just going to disable clean mode i honestly recommend not using that um here it has a editor and then right if you tap right there it's just going to add it to your to your home screen and you see here boom that's the editor right there so with this application you can also edit your videos once you're done um here let's go ahead and change it to clean right let's go ahead and change it to clean uh here like i said i left it on 1080p 8 8 megapixel or mega megabyte and uh, auto there so if i want to record let's go and choose i think i have a game running in the background here let's go and choose this right okay so here we have the game ready to load all we got to do is press the start button here uh one thing to keep in mind when you tap here and you're ready to record you just tap on this bubble click the record button which is that right there you're gonna get this message that says uh moby zen will start capturing everything that's displayed on the screen let's go and start now and now you're gonna see the countdown like you see there you see the countdown going on very cool very convenient to have and like this like i said before you can also change that to three seconds or five seconds or turn it off completely if you don't want no countdown whatsoever and that's what I like about this application is that it actually is letting you have full control of a lot of things that um, other applications let you do as well. And right here, since we're using the clean mode, you're not going to see your fingers tapping on the screen when you start recording. Uh, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see yourself um, on the screen. Look at that. Very cool. Nice kill there. Yeah, you're not going to see your face floating around because uh, of the camera because we can disable that. And, of course, you're not also going to see. Um, uh, 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 I'm going to tap over there. It's a leap of faith. There you go. <laughs> and the other thing is you're not going to see like um, the counter number. You know the counter for your recording time you're not gonna see that at all as well so at any time let's say I want to uh, let's go and kill this guy oh crap okay let's go and finish this for those asking this is the Assassin's Creed game oh no oh, oh, oh. let's go tap over here uh, did he escape yep I think he escaped Okay, whatever. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and stop this. The thing is here. Let's go and stop right there. Tap right recording there. Boom. Okay, watch. There you go. And now we can see the gameplay here. There you go. Like you see there, my voice, you can listen to the voice. You can listen to the game. Uh, but of course I always recommend everybody if you want your voice to be um, uh, if you want to be able to listen to your voice clearly I recommend to put this game very very low I always recommend people to put the game very low because remember the microphone is right here and the speakers are right here so it doesn't matter how low you put the game the volume of the game it's going to be recorded on the microphone OK, but remember, you, if you want to do voice over, you want your voice to come out clearly. So I recommend putting the the uh, the game 
at a low level where you can barely listen to it and talk and your voice is going to come out clearly that's the that's the thing that's the th the final product that you want you want uh, your gameplay but you want your voice to come out clearly so that's one thing to keep in mind so there you go you have the recording right here um once you have the recording right there you could click right here see so you have the option to um share the video or you have the option to edit the video and it's going to open this right here which you can edit the video you can go ahead and trim it from here to here uh here you can add another video here in the front if you want or you can add another video here on the after that recording um here you could change the volume background noise and all that and here you could take a screenshot. We just took a screenshot of this right here. So let's say you're like, see there, I took a screenshot right there. And of course, if you tap right there, you can also, you know, do a lot of stuff as well. There's not too many things you could do here, but hey, something's something, right? And that's it. After you click done, it'll finish the editing, and there you go. So now you have two recordings, one edited. Like you see here, this one is edited right there. That was really, really fast you see they're re really cool so that's one thing that i really like about this application that it lets you do a lot of cool stuff you know it lets you do a lot of customization when it comes to settings and all that and it's very cool very cool so uh, like i said before if you want your 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 gestures to be visible you just gotta enable it and of course if you want the front camera to be enabled you just gotta enable it uh, you could move the camera wherever you want right there now we could go ahead for example and start recording here uh screen recording okay start now and you got the countdown here and at any time once the, the countdown is done it's starting recording like you see here it's recording my fingers where i'm tapping at also you have the camera here where you can move around everywhere you want uh, once you start recording you cannot resize the camera so keep that in mind okay so once you find the proper size then start recording and that's it so if you want to do like a like a video tutorial on uh, an application this is the perfect way to use it you know using the fingers that way people can see where you're tapping at and the camera there if you want the camera but like I said, if you don't have a phone that has four gigabytes or more of RAM, I recommend not using the camera because the camera is going to add lag if you're using a phone that's very slow uh, or old. Based on the specifications requirement for this application, your phone needs to be Android 4.4 or above. 4.4 or above if you have a 4.4 device and it's not available in the store one it might not be available in your country or two your device might not be in the compatible list because i think there's a list that developers have and they make sure that certain phones are not uh, vis uh, compatible you know are not visible when this application when you're just cho um, searching for this application on the store you're not going to see it because it's not on the compatible list so if you have a problem with that just uh, email the developer and they'll answer to you I'll tell you why this application is not available for your device so guys thanks for watching the video i'll leave a link in my description that way you can go ahead and, and download it try it out if you have any questions please ask in the comments and i'll be gladly answering or other people can answer as well thanks for watching guys till next time